Well, you know, it has been a storm of unemployment, let's say, and more than 20 states at this point have decided to stop the, uh, to use another rain analogy, the shower of extra federal funds. That 300 extra dollars is stopping in more than 20 states, but not here in Michigan. That money will continue, but Michigan is requiring that you now prove you are trying to find a job. Meanwhile, we spoke with an expert who says there are two big reasons that people have quit their jobs and that $300 isn't one of them. They don't have child care to help out with the kids, a place for the kids to go or, you know, someone to come in and watch the kids um, so that they can, you know, drive back to the office. Trisha Plovey from the staffing agency Robert Half Detroit says 47% of Detroit based workers voluntarily quit this year due to lack of child care. 43% of Detroit workers had a shift in feelings about their career due to the pandemic. You know what? I don't know if I really enjoy what I'm doing or who I'm doing it for, and I think I might like to do something else. While the extra 300 bucks a week in federal unemployment benefit boost may not be the reason for quitting, it does make quitting a whole lot easier. Earlier this week, Florida became the 23rd state to announce it's stopping the extra 300 per week payment to jobless citizens. Meanwhile, in Michigan, the federal supplement will continue, but claimants will need to start proving that they are trying to find work by either applying for a job or attending a job fair every week. Um, when people start you know, confirming that they are looking for work or aren't looking for work, that could um, bring an influx of employees you know, to the marketplace to take some of those jobs. But perhaps the big news after more than 15 months of being closed in a record number of claimants, the unemployment office finally plans to reopen in mid-July. The state has paid out over $34 billion to more than 3 million people since March 15th of 2020. At the peak in April of 2020, Michigan's unemployment rate was 22.7%. In April of this year, it dropped to 4.9%, but still, finding workers is tough. Plovey says communication is key. And it would go far from a retention standpoint if managers just took the time to sit down and find out, you know, what's on their employees' minds and, and you know, where do they see themselves in a year from now? Where do they see themselves in five years from now? Yeah, she is encouraging employee retention because obviously trying to find workers is a challenge. But again, not only will you need to start proving that you are searching for a job every week starting Sunday, uh, you also will soon, hopefully by mid-July, be able to show up to the unemployment office and hopefully maybe even get a phone call answered. I know that's been a challenge for many over the past year. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.